I guess bend down. So, oh my god, I thought that was Modelo. I was like, Modelo, no! It's a flip flop, sweetie. Alright, let's get started. So that was the introduction. Let's get started into this Q and A. So, like I said, we were going to do not only necessarily a review, but a look with the Magic Hour palette that Urban sent me from their new line called Oh Hi. And Krista, who you see who beat the fuck out of her face, will okay. be doing just a very simplistic look. Nothing like that because I'm personally not mentally or emotionally prepared for that. So yeah, let's get started. And while she does my makeup, I will be writing, or not writing, but answering your questions that you guys ask me on Instagram. Let's get started. So Sophie's already let me know that she would like to use, let me see the name of this, the Peridot, which is that lime green shade right there. I'm already thinking of kind of creating maybe a halo eye effect with that as a pop of color in the middle. Um, the shades themselves are very, they're, they go together in some ways. Not every single one of them is gonna be cohesive with one another, however, they are very beautiful. And I do appreciate the artistic elements that went into this palette. It's very cute, very, I actually really like the way it's laid out a lot. I think it's very cute. So we're just gonna get right started. I'm probably gonna end up yes. taking this grayish shade tiger eye right here on oh, i wish that wasn't overexposed tiger eye on the outer corners of her eye and popping that in the middle and i'll let you know as we go along i might end up i think that's a siren yep a little bit of siren as well to deepen it out all right so the first question was with halloween coming out what's your fave horror film if anyone knows me horror is probably the only genre of film i watch just because I'm disgusting <laughs> like that. And I guess if I had to choose a horror movie that I'm really into, that I've always been into, would probably be Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Yeah. Right now I'm taking Tiger Eye on a Morphe M433 brush, and I'm gonna pack that on the outer corners of Sophie's eyes. So yeah, it'd probably be Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Uh, another one is Can We Be Friends? I'm always open to meeting new people. I truly don't give a damn who you are or what you do with your life, as long as you're nice to me and just click well with me. Um, I've never really had a problem like saying hello to new people or like trying to be acquaintances with somebody because that's how I actually met Krista. She was working at American Apparel before it closed down and I was always in there. Like that was my favorite store of all time. And it just, kind of happened because I just I saw her. she actually came into Lush when I was working with her boyfriend on her first date and yeah they came in I was really like fixated on like her look her short hair which she just cut by the way yes I'm back at it again and I was obsessed with it I was like this is a look and I was like this girl's so cute so after that we just kind of clicked and became friends and it is what it is so that's where we are right now and I'm like two inches from her face it's beautiful. Dreams come true. We're so close. Okay, so... Just an update. We used Stargaze, Siren, and a little bit of Tiger Eye all on the outer corners. Kind of mixed together, kind of just to do a little, little fun smoke on the outer corners just to give kind of like a depth and a smoked out look. Hmm. That was the worst description I've ever heard, actually. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. Alright, so <laughs> I'm gonna be taking my Sephora. This is the um, airbrush shadow brush, <laughs> and I'm gonna be spraying a little bit of the Pearlescence Coconut Rose spray. I'm pretty sure this is also Sir Old Urban, which is like Probably. good for them. I'm gonna be spraying it on the tip of this brush and dipping into Peridot, which is that lime green shade we talked about before. Go ahead. All right, so the next question was. What's your take on cis actors taking roles of trans characters? And obviously that does not sit right with me because it's just like, why waste a spot to be inclusive to somebody with your movie or TV show, whatever, what have you, just waste it on somebody when it can be um, someone like a trans actress or actor and have us be represented in a way with, you know, okay, you know, we have talent, we're here, we're visible. So that's just my take on that. So, yeah, that's how I feel about that situation going on. Well, what did you learn this summer? Oh, I love that actually. She's really cute. 
Wow. I'm gonna be packing her on just to get kind of defined eye. It is very pretty. It's a very pretty green without it being too stark neon green. But we all know neon green is in right now. What did you learn this summer? This summer I learned how to be vulnerable, how to love unconditionally, and how to be okay with letting others in and with the fact that there is a possibility someone can hurt me. And I think that takes a lot, especially from me as a person, because I am someone who loves to be in control. I hate not having things go my way. And I don't mean that necessarily in the bratty sense, but you know, if there's a plan, if there's structure and something disrupts that, I'm very upset. I'm very agitated by them. Like, how did this happen? How did we get here? Like, what the hell? So yeah, that's that. That's how I feel about that subject. But that's pretty much what I learned. And don't trust fuckboys. Just don't. Don't let them into your life. They ruin everything. Truly. Truly. Not all men. Not all men. <laughs> I want to take it a little bit farther out. You should, ugh, hello. Sorry. No, it's okay. Like, even in person, like, this is, like, it looks so, like, on camera, this is, like, wow. But in person, it's still so, it's just soft. And, it's like, so muted. And then it's, like, a fun surprise when you kind of, like, take a look and it's really funny the only reason why i kind of wanted to use this color is because it matches my skirt um plus it's, that's my birthstone but oh, but that's neither here or there the next question was how do i cut my bangs like yours prayer it, before krista did this for me i was getting kitchen scissors and just like slicing those hoes i took that girl to walmart i got her some new hair scissors and some donuts and we had a time because that was a really bad day and she treated me that was a really nice time great roommate <laughs> but yeah i now that i have the proper scissors i just uh pull it down as much as possible um usually i let my bring bit brings i let my bangs grow down here and then i like twist it wet it and cut above and then you know just pray it comes out well and just like straighten it as much as possible and just like try to get any strays or anything like that to make sure it's as even as possible. Um, what is your sun, your moon, and your rising? But before we get into that. Siren is gonna be going on her lower lash line just to kind of, just mainly on the outer half, not anywhere past three quarters of the way in. And that's just gonna give a little bit of a similar depth you don't want it to look too top heavy on any of the looks you do. My sun, my moon, and my rising. My sun is Virgo. My moon is Pisces. And my rising is Scorpio. I didn't know any of this and I hate you now. Mm hmm It explains why I'm emotional wreck half of the day. But you'll never see it. So it's just like the Virgo exterior is like, wow, this bitch is cold. Like, I hate her. But then you like kind of crack it open and it's all this water pouring out. Now I'm going to be taking Pixie right here on her inner corner just to kind of bring it that pop and kind of blend from her skin tone to that lime green in a sense. It's very pretty. It's got a little nice pink undertone, but it's nothing too stark. It kind of just opens up the eyes and brings some light in. So we're going to be taking a little bit of a gate. And I think once we finish highlighting fully, oh, thank you. Once we finish highlighting fully with a gate, I might take a little bit of pixie just on the very, very tip to give it a little bit of extra help because a gate itself is a really pretty reflective. It's got like pink and orange in it and she's really cute and all, but we want a little bit of light on like the skin. It, like I said, on camera, it looks dramatic, but in person, it's so muted and just, it, it's something you this is something I would probably wear to work and just not have a problem with it because like it's just that like in person It's like oh it's makeup. Wow. Okay, but not crazy. What I'm gonna do and Krista hates that I use cream I don't No, I remember last time I was using cream like I can't see you putting cream on powder right now Oh, it's hard for me to watch but she does it great So I take I'm taking puff from Glossier uh, and just applying it by the way, a gate is definitely, it's got like a golden orange undertone. I'm looking at the brush, the tip of the brush right now. And that's it, that's the blush. orange. Oh, she's done. Beautiful. <laughs> I've always loved that Oopsie the Clown look. Fuck off. <laughs> Hi. On my um, Anastasia A23 brush, I would normally use a fan brush. However, it does not fit into that pan. 
So we're just gonna be popping that on there. Wow, that's very purple. She's really cute. I'm just using a padding motion because it is a damp product. Mm. And I'm gonna be taking it up on the brow bone as well. Question was, where do you get your clothing from? Um, Poshmark, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> to be frank to be quite frank poshmark for like old american apparel um i just got some things sent to me from los angeles apparel which i can't wait to try out which will probably be a new addiction to like my bs um i think i already said urban outfitters brandy melville thrift stores just like stuff like that and i'm gonna highlight the tip oh girl of your chin and i'm gonna blend it out because girl <laughs> there you go there you go. Then, Another question was, how do you think of your tattoo ideas? Um, to be quite honest, all I do is I show my tattoo artist or the tattoo artist I'm going to. This is what I like. This is these are the main points I want to stick out from this idea, but make it your style or your own. And they twist it, and there we go. And that's usually how I get my tattoo ideas. So Krista is gonna help me pop on fake eyelashes for this because I'm not doing eyeliner because this look in person, like I said, is so soft that if I were to do like eyeliner, it would just look so harsh. So we're just gonna do some falsies. So I'm just gonna pop on my favorite mascara, which is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Curve Alert. And then she's gonna pop on some lashes for me. I'll just wait. So the last thing I'm gonna do is take my trusty Outlast Lip Stain from CoverGirl. This is my shit because it just stains your lips and it's like an instant lip color. People think it's like you. It's like drinking Kool-Aid without Kool-Aid. Mm. It just adds that color and yes it is a little too harsh but that's where gloss comes in and this is the ohi gummy gloss and i think this is in golden and i'm just going to open that if it allows me to and then just apply that everywhere and it's going to lighten up everything so that's that and then i'm going to take the dewy finish nyx professional makeup setting spray and yeah, and Dewey. So one of the last lash, one of the last questions is, how did you, where did you get your wigs from? I got asked this so many times when I left the the open response on Instagram. I will link all my wigs in my story on Instagram. I will link my Instagram, and you will all see there. I'll even probably make a little story for my wigs or where I get any of my hairstyles from. So yeah. Um, how do I become more confident in myself? Like you, I don't like to look at myself in mirrors because my weight bothers me. Um. I don't, I am confident in my skin. I really am. It's it's still a, uh, it's still a slippery slope, but it's progress nonetheless, just because I do feel comfortable in my skin some days. Some days I'm like, mm, about it. But other than that, like, it's all about just being like, this is my body. I'm going to take control of it. This is what I love. And this is what I have to work with. And I'm going to make it work with me and make sure that this is okay with the rest of my body. Um, it's all about telling yourself it's okay, you look good in this, and just giving yourself that own positive affirmation without having to seek it through others. And that took quite some time for me. Um, and I know my weight, I know my weight isn't ideal, and kind of the way I covered up how my weight is perceived is I covered it up with tattoos, to be honest with you. Like, one idea I got was, instead of, like, looking at my body in a disgusting way, just, like, thinking, like, oh, this is still beautiful, just putting a tattoo over it is gonna even make it better. And that's how I perceive myself, but obviously don't get a tattoo just to make yourself feel better because you know, I don't know what position you're in, but that's just my advice with that. Um, do you have to cover your tattoos for work? Nope, I don't because where I work, they actually accept people like me and they actually love the fact that I am tattooed. So that's really cool. Um, and the last question is, where? what do you do for work? I'm not gonna say anything just because that's a little too personal. If you know, you know. But thank you guys for joining me in on this video. I had lots of fun actually filming this and having someone else do my makeup. That was really cool and I'm loving every second of it. And like I said, I know on camera it looks intense or like crazy, but if you were to see me in person, this is so toned down. Like this palette is very sheer this palette's very sheer and i mean that in the nicest way possible it's very shimmery everything is very light it's just going to i feel like it's going to just work for like an everyday look like it's perfectly fine i'll probably upload um this look on instagram for you guys to really see how it looks but honestly 
this isn't as harsh as you probably are thinking it is, but in person it's very soft, it's very dewy and fresh, like, I love every second of this moment, and I couldn't have had this happen without Krista. Enters. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this is actually my roommate. She's the one that beat this face as you all saw, and I'll be linking her Instagram down and her soon YouTube channel that, you know, who knows when we'll start up. I took a video, I promise I'm gonna edit it. It's going up soon. Um, I'm just a disaster in it. I don't know how to act yet, but it's totally- I don't know fun. how to act, just be yourself. I don't know how to be. However, I will say about the, what's it called again? The, the, the Ojai Magic Hour palette is, it's very cute. It's extremely buildable. So the shades, even though they don't pack a punch immediately, you can definitely build them up to however you, how much pigment you desire. I think it's very fun. It's really summery. Um, kind of something. It could go into the winter. There are a few lavender and like um, more like a bronzy maroon shade and things like that that could work very well for the holidays and whatnot as we approach the holidays and Thanksgiving and all that fun stuff. Warm tones, cool tones. Um, it's just a really fun palette and I really I did enjoy working with it and seeing how Urban Outfitters newest brand would work and I think it's very fun. And that's the tea. That is the tea. Here for the tea. One. <laughs> Not two. <laughs> Not two. I mean, if she sees this video, she'll probably kill me for that. Uh, until next time. Bye, guys.